Alright guys, so this will be unboxing of two 164 scale trucks that my brother bought. And they're definitely not your average trucks, um, at least where I live. Uh, but I'm pretty excited to unbox them because they definitely are different and not, uh, you know, stuff that we see in 150th scale. And I wish that we did, but... So, I... Uh, he bought these from eBay from a uh, seller that's right over the bridge in Jersey, so they didn't take too long to come. Anyway, I don't know which one is which here, so, um, so, alright. This one is the low boy with the Stinger and the Jeep, and, uh, this is the Jeep and that's a Stinger. And, uh, this is one that I, I seen and I told him he just had to get it and then he did order it because it's just so cool. And uh, I believe it was only like 90 bucks or so, which seems pretty cheap for something that is almost something that people would customize, I guess you could say. But uh, really cool. And if you look at the tractor, I'm not sure. It's a Peterbilt. Uh, just really, really cool. I can't wait to get this one uh, out here. And while I'm taking this out, for those of you that uh, collect 150th, I'm sure that you would agree that we need something like this in 150th scale. Always have a hard time. Alright, so. getting it out real quick uh, here's the Jeep really really cool it's a Fontaine too and that would connect onto the fifth wheel on the gooseneck so that would go like that and then the back would basically go like that and then you would take the other axle and connect it onto there but really really cool I'll have reviews above it and uh, there'll be links in the description and I believe you could even put this as a flip axle on the back of the low boy so that's also pretty cool and here's the tractor which is actually really nice I was looking forward to, forward to the trailer but the tractor is actually really really cool and it really looks like it's for long hauls and really a, a really really nice tractor and the fenders I think or even metal, so that's a plus two. But uh, there's the first one. And the second one is a side dump trailer, and it's really cool looking. Uh, another one that I can't wait to unbox. These are stuff that you normally wouldn't see around here. And what I say by that is these side dump trailers are even hard to find to begin with, but usually around here, um, Everything's hauled on three axles, and I know that sounds crazy, but uh, equipment-wise, you know, you'll see something on an old uh, Rogers trailer, like a, a wobble wheel trailer or something from the 60s, even the 50s on three axles, but uh, that's why I said that, you know, it's normally not around here. I see pictures online of a 330 broken down and sometimes you'll see around here that a 385 doesn't even get broken down. I'm talking about a cat excavator, uh, by the way. Interesting to, to see how this one will work. Here is the trailer and I assume Exactly sure. Maybe there's a lock to it. Yeah, yeah, there is a lock. That's actually really nice. And it dumps over the side. And I guess that means that you could dump it left or right. That is really cool. And these are really detailed too. And then you just push the lock down. And yeah, that means that you could. Well, that's really cool because you could dump over both sides. So there's that trailer. And as for the tractor, which looks super nice. It's a W900, and uh, the straight pipes just look awesome, and some uh, 
radio antennas on the mirrors would look cool as well but that's really cool so um check that link in the description if you want to see some pictures and thanks for watching